Okay, so from my recent Olight torch haul from the October 2021 Halloween sale, I will start with having a look at and opening the Seeker 3 Pro and it's two free gifts. Part of the deal was the reduction of the price of the torch and a Olight Obol MC in blue with the Olight sling in blue as well. Actually, just quickly, one thing I did notice was on the box, on the packaging, we have a letter cut out of the back. And if I line it up with the other two I got, we have a TH and G, which I'm guessing, obviously, if you purchase some more it will spell out light so actually L I so with the quick rearrangement of some of the boxes and the torches I can kind of spell out O light without the initial letters okay so back to opening up the first item Okay, so we have a quick look over the box. On the front, we obviously have the Olight branding, the name of the product, and the picture of the actual O bulb. So on the side again, we have the Olight branding and a barcode. On the back, we have a letter, and on the other side, we've got the Olight branding again. Um, on the top, we have a top view of the bulb, and on the bottom, as you can see, we have the specifications of the O bulb. So let's open up and see inside. And there's a blue box. Undo this. And actually the box looks like it just folds away. So inside the box we have the bulb and it's packaged. Looks like I've got some objects in the bottom as well, which I believe might be the sticky, sticky metal, metal, metal magnet that magnet, can put um, to a surface, can, which is to a surface or metal which in the first place and, and then just stick, stick the bulb to it. It's definitely held in with a magnet in any way. So on the packaging we have, your O-Bulb MC will bring more colour and fun to your life. Welcome to the o family. Okay. And in the bottom of the box, before first use one, charging to unlock the product and to please fully charge the product. Then obviously we've got the green charging complete, red and charging. So let's just take this out quickly, have a quick look. So it is fairly small, and again, obviously from seeing it on the website, seeing other reviews, it is smaller, it is than, smaller than, than I initially thought it would be. So I that's guess. good. So in the bottom of the plastic packaging here, we have the metal magnet with 3M tape on the bottom. And then we have the instructions. And then I have something in here oh looks like eyes it looks like they're sticky googly eyes which i guess you can put on the torch to add a little bit of fun and then obviously in the bottom we have the mcc one amp olight magnetic charger um, which obviously magnetizes to the bottom and has a usb to power it I'll figure out how to put that away later. Okay, so in the second box, the free gift that came with it was the O-Sling. So let's quickly open this up. Not cellophane this time, so. And then this obviously just fits over the actual O-Bulb, but we'll have a look at that at another point. Okay, and now for the main part of this actual opening and opening up the torch. So before I do that, let's have a quick look at the box while it's still in its um, plastic cellophane wrapping. So obviously on the front, we have a picture of the torch in blue with the Olight branding. Brighter, safer, smarter, a limited edition. So on the front, it states its throw is 250 meters and has a maximum of 4,200 lumens. So on the side, we have the Olight branding and the Seeker 3 Pro. On the other side, exactly the same, the Olight branding and the Seeker 3 Pro. On the top, we have the or a sticky label with a barcode and serial number and the bottom is blank and obviously on the back we have the details and specifications so a quick overview of this torch its maximum output is 4200 lumens and states it's 31 percent higher than the seeker 2 pro 
So turbo mode, we have 4,200, which then drops to 1,200, which then drops to 600. And it looks like it will run at 4,200 for two and a half minutes, 1,200 for 127 minutes, and then 600 at 35 minutes. Then on high mode, we have 1,200 lumens, 600 lumens, and 300 lumens. And this looks like it states it will run for 135 minutes at 1,200, 35 minutes at 600, and 10 minutes at 300. And then on medium mode, we have 300 lumens, and stating it will run for 10 hours and 40 minutes and on low we have 50 lumens and it states it will run for 55 hours and 30 minutes and in moon mode which is 5 lumens it states it will run for 15 days. So the candela rating of this is 15,625. It has a waterproof rating of IPX8. It has a drop rating of 1.5 meters so it should be safe and not damage any of the internals um, from dropped on a I guess hard surface from that distance. It has a beam throw of 250 meters and its dimensions look like to be 132 millimetres long and 35 millimetres deep or wide, or 5.2 inches long and 1.38 inches wide. It weighs 200 grams, which includes the battery, or 7.05 ounces. Okay, so package contents is one Seeker 3 Pro with battery, USB magnet, cable charging, holster and user manual. So if we quickly run through the features that are printed on the back of the box, so if we just read from the top, we have the Seeker 3 Pro is an ultra bright floodlight flashlight, great for outdoor activities. It's four high performance cool white LEDs boast an incredible max output of 4,200 lumens and a 250 meter beam distance. The newly adopted rotary knob switch on the head allows for smooth adjustment between brightness levels. Surrounding the rotary knob are indicators to reveal the brightness and the battery levels in real time. The built-in proximity and thermal sensors keep the light from nearby objects safe on higher settings. Continuing with its classic style, the Seeker 3 Pro is more powerful, way brighter and packed with new refinements that make it one of the most well-designed pocket lights out there. Features, as we already stated, a max output of 4,200 lumens, which is 31% higher than the Seeker 2 Pro. Press or rotate a highly integrated rotary knob switch to quickly access different output levels. Intuitive indicators dashboard for clearly revealing the battery and brightness levels. Built-in thermal and proximity sensors to protect against overheating or obstructions. A customized 5,000 milliamp hour battery extends the max runtime to 15 days. The MCC3 magnetic charging cable allows for up to two amp charging current. Gets locked out automatically after 30 seconds of non-operation. Rotate the knob switch over 90 degrees to unlock. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, so if I carefully scroll along there. This will be the first time I've opened an Olight box and it looks fairly good, fairly high quality, cardboard and with a magnetic seal. So, Inside, we're greeted with, thank you for being part of our Olight family. Your support is why we do this. Enjoy, Olight team. So congrats on your new Olight Seeker 3 Pro. Before first use, unscrew the tail cap and remove the insulating film within the battery compartment before screwing the tail cap back on tightly. If the battery needs to be charged, make sure that the negative polarity side of the battery faces towards the direction of the flashlight head and the side of the LED. So negative goes towards the flashlight head. Please charge the flashlight fully before you turn it on, charging directly via the provided MCC magnetic charging cable. The flashlight arrives in lockout mode for shipping purposes. To unlock, please rotate the knob switch quickly over 90 degrees. The surrounding indicators will light up when you have unlocked the switch successfully. Unlock, rotate the knob over 90 degrees. So a few brief instructions of what to do. So when removing the yellow plastic, we are greeted with quite a bright blue holster, which obviously contains the torch. Um, and at the bottom, we have a thank you. And then another cardboard packaging, which obviously contains the charger and the instructions. Okay, so I'll have a look at the manual in a second, but let's get out what we've all been waiting for. So, it feels a fairly nice quality holster. Uh, we have a D-loop with the, with the belt holster and button holster, I guess you can either put around your belt or fit onto molly type strappings, onto bags, or just for quick release. Okay, so top and bottom, we have two holes, and then to release the holster, push down, and we have the torch. I'm sure it's all right, but that seems a bit too close to the actual lens of the torch, to be honest, that's probably a bit of a design flaw. Maybe worth getting some sort of cloth to cover that up, as I'm sure that could end up scratching the actual lens of the torch. Anyway, let's get the torch out. So it's a nice snug fit. It fits in 
Okay, first impressions. Feels really nice, feels good quality. Looks really good. It's a nice midnight blue. Although not overly important, there was no, um, I guess it's because it comes to the holster as well, but there was no clip. Um, I'm sure they can be got separately. Okay, let's take a closer look. So we can see here the Olight Seeker 3 Pro with the serial number etched underneath it. So I guess this is the top with the button and rotary knob. Then we have the cap, which is obviously the magnetic cap. Nice, solid connection. Then on the back we have safety markings and some sort of a barcode. Also with the plus and minus directions of the battery. Let's get a closer look at the actual detail of the torch, which is midnight blue um, with some wolf detail. If we hold it this way round, the wolf is facing up. And if we turn it, the wolf is facing down. But if you turn it around, obviously it faces up. So depending on how you hold it. So looking at the top of the torch, there's a slightly raised bezel in black with the four LEDs. And obviously that little tool dot just there is the sensor. Okay, so if we unscrew the cap, which feels really nice. And you can see there's lubrication in there as well. So obviously to help lubricate the seal, keep with waterproofing and obviously the lubrication on the metal against metal. So if we pull out the yellow battery cover, have a quick look at the battery. So obviously in the torch is the 21700 500 milliamp 3.6 volt battery, which has the positive and negative on one end, which is why it's a specialized battery. Use your warnings. And positive and negative ends. This is the Olight ORB217C50. A negative goes in towards or goes in first, it just slides in, then the cap just screws on. And on the base of the cap, we have a cutout for a lanyard. Right, let's see what power we have in this. So, as we can see initially, it is set to low or medium. And there's three battery bars. All right, let's see if I can turn it on. That appears to be on two lights. So if I turn it on and hold, it should cycle through. So we have low, medium, high. And then I think if I long press, it goes into moonlight mode. If I double press, and we got turbo. Let's just turn it on normally, that's on. So the sensor go to work there. So that's on high at the moment, and if I pull it close, it dims down. Okay. So that's on low, and I believe also by turning this, you can control the brightness as well. So not just by pressing the buttons, if I also turn, The actual wheel, I can see it getting higher, and I can also see the LEDs increasing, depending on the brightness. And although it's daylight, I can really see the light. So that's now on low, and just gradually. can feel the heat of the torch as well. Okay. But I have noticed when I am trying to dial the light either higher or lower, and it's high enough to activate the sensor, 
and the sensor is activated by an object in its path, you can't seem to change the actual brightness. So all in all, my first impressions, very nice, actually quite intuitive to use. I haven't had to look at the instructions yet. So simple, one press to turn on into normal modes, press and hold to change between the three main settings of low, medium and high, press to turn off. Long press to get to the long run moonlight mode, and then press off, and then double press to get to the turbo mode. And then if I press and hold, it will then cycle through the low, medium and high. Okay, so all in all, I am fairly impressed with the torch. It came three quarters charged. So obviously we'll need to put this on to give it a full charge. The holster is fairly nice, although my only niggle is this metal hole clip here, for my liking, is a bit too close to the lens and has the potential and I can feel there is slightly sharp edges. No, I suppose it has the potential to be pushed and scratch the lens. Normal use should be fine, but I can imagine pushing down, moving it around could cause an issue. So one thing I just noticed after using the torch, if you're not careful, you can turn it on just by putting it away as you can see there obviously by closing that catch and you can see it just went off meant I hit the actual button so might also be suggestible and a good idea to when you put the torch away in the holster turn it to the side slightly and then there's no danger of turning the torch on. Shame it doesn't come with an actual clip, that would have been a nice feature for it to come with, but all in all, I'm fairly pleased with it. I'm looking forward for it to get dark so I can actually see what it's like outside. Okay, and for anyone interested in the instructions, I will take a snapshot of these and put them up now.